well uh, I hope uh, you like this video just tell me one thing don't you think that there is no language that is less more interesting than C language it's a it's really a very interesting language and I hope you do like it and I also like it so today we are going to just uh, go through a program it's a very interesting program it's known as binary search <coughs> binary search is a, is a search technique by which uh, you can very f easily and very fast you can search through uh, one array so what is the rule of a binary search binary search is a rule of a divide and rule okay whenever you search a number in a binary in an, in an array with binary search you just what you do you start uh, continue dividing the array into two half suppose uh, you see here is an array which contains a set of number and these are the index these are the index of the array and these are this is the array so now what happens suppose I am searching for say I'm searching for uh, 30 or uh, what I say 34 so uh, what do we do by in binary search what we do we just get to the middle of the array so the total number of uh, what you do 0 plus 19 by 2 so 19 by 2 what is the integer value it is 9 so we we'll go to the 9 we go to this value and we check whether our searching search key which is 34 is less than or greater than this 45 obviously you see um, 34 is uh, less than 45 so we can now easily discard this from 45 we can discard from 45 to 96 this part is discarded so now my array's highest value is 39 and lowest value is 5 now there is there is from 0 to 8 divided by 2 it becomes 4 so this is the middle value 17 now we check that whether 34 is greater than 17 or less than 17 is greater than 17 so what what we can do we will just discard this portion now how much is left on 23 29 34 39 now again the low is what low is 5 and uh, high is 8 so 5 plus 8 13 by 2 how much is it's 6 so this is the middle element so now to 29 greater than 34 no less than 34 yes so we can do we will just discard this two and those two is left one again we will divide it 7 plus 8 by 2 that is equal to 7 so this is the middle element so is the is our search key uh, sorry 7 plus 8 uh, so this is 7 so is uh, our search key is equal to this um, greater than the element so no less than element no equal to that element yes so i found the key so this is the process by which we just divide and rule we just divide it and find out in which portion the search key is actually existing provided that your array should be in a sorted order your array should be in a sorted order so I'm just not uh, going to define describe you how to sort an array so I've already taken a sorted array so I'll start with uh, variable low equal to 0 high equal to 90 and mid equal to low plus high by 2 so let us go to the program and uh, my array is already declared here so first we will take a number which is search key say namely search num it's a ch num then there is an element low then there is high and there is mid so now what we will do we will call the printf function and as you know backslash n is the escape key to take the cursor to the next line enter your search number <coughs> 
So I'll call the scanf function. The first parameter is the type of input. I'll take uh, percent %d for integer, percent %c for character, percent %s for string. So I'll take in the integer, so percent %t and the variable is will be passed by reference if you know about the scanf. So I've taken now low equal to zero. It is the lower bound of the array. High equal to 19 upper bound and mid equal to low plus high by 2. Now I will just run the loop while low less than equal to high. So it will run while low is less than equal to high. So what will happen? High will <coughs> continuously when going to decrease if the, if you find the value on the left side of uh, after the uh, you are dividing the array and low will uh, going to increase if you find the search key on the right side of the array after the partition so a time will come when low and high will collide low will be greater than or equal to high and if it become greater than then and your search does not satisfy therefore the value does not exist such key does not exist in the array. So we will just do if arr mid greater than ssch num make it a little bit specific less than if it is so that means the such key is existing on the left hand side of the middle middle element. So what will we do? We will just make bring our high value to how much mid minus one. That means we know we don't require all the elements from mid to the end of the array. In the same way, if SRCH num greater than ARR mid, then low equal to mid plus one. That means uh, now it's it is it exists on uh, now it exists just a moment now it uh, now it exists on right side of the array okay when you divide the array into two part it will uh, exist on the right side so now we will uh, just take our low, lower bound of the array to the mid plus one and discard the left portion of the array left half of the array else now if else that means me, such num is uh, matched with the middle array element so what we will do break so we are done so we need another thing to do we will just copy this one and paste it here So this is done. You have to because after changing the low and high, you have to again to get the middle element. So now what happens? See if uh, it is found, if the element is found, so obviously the it is found. The break statement is, is executed. The break statement is called. That means the while it is exited the loop, while the low is less than equal to high. That means the condition is still true. So if we will see if the condition is still true, if that is if low less than equals to high, then printf percent d exists in percent d percent d position. Now may exist in mid position. Else printf percent d does not exist in the array ok so I'm done with this and uh, let us save this one I'll save it to my turbo c directory c this uh, bin 
with bin and limit bin SRCH dot C. So now let's move to the command line and just open bin srch dot c so let's run the program compile the program <coughs> okay so let's uh, there's some error The variable is SRC num and I've just given SR only num. So this is a silly mistake. So I've compiled this program and I'll just run the program. I think I need to open it again. To run it. Okay, let us do one thing. Uh, just uh, we are we should use one get ch because otherwise it will just exit out of the console. So we'll now run this. Enter search number. So bit 34. 34 exists in seven position. As you can see, uh, let's go to the this. Uh, we have prepared this one 34 existing 7th position you can see so now search for 54 ok 54 54 existing 11th position so can we see 54 existing 11th position so as you can see that uh, how binary search works and uh, binary search is actually uh, more effective when you are using a huge large array if you are using a small array you can just uh, go with linear search and uh, other kind of search but binary search is very effective when you are using a large array because you are started starting dividing the array okay if you uh, have uh, suppose a th 2000 size of array so we'll divide in first loop uh, first iteration we are dividing it into thousand okay then 500 then 250 then 125 it's getting smaller and smaller so that is more effective if you are using a large array so this is the program and uh, i'll just uh, put this program i'll just put this program on your on my google drive and give you the give the link provide mention the link on my youtube video uh, and description section you can get the code from there and if you have any query related binary search you can do to comment me and if you cannot understand anything also you can ask me so that's all about this video thank you very much do subscribe to my channel it is ACBH RO190776 thank you very much